Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Let's go over everything that is happening today in the markets as well as with AMC stocks specifically that you need to know. And as I pointed out in the last video, AMC stock is acting very strange. You're getting this buying pressure um, and AMC is massively outperforming some of its peers and even the Russell 2000 index. This really leads me to think that, hey, maybe we get some kind of good news coming here pretty shortly now also in this video we are going to go over the 13 filings that are coming out and something's weird over here as well you're not getting that many of them not to the same degree as what you're seeing from other uh stocks right so we're gonna get into all of this information everything you need to know boy that's whoa what's going on here holy schmoly bank of montreal baby Woo! Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and source your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. Holy guacamole, Bank of Montreal, Canada just bought the dip like nobody's business in AMC. Barclays sold out of their put position. Bank of New York Mellon increased their position a little bit by about 2% in AMC. Look at this, though. Bank of Montreal, their call position is now worth 14 and a half million shares. Their put position worth 12,000 shares. They reduced their put position by 98 and a half percent within the last quarter. They increased their call position by 4,000 percent. Their share position now sits at 1.93 million. They increased this 7,000% in the last quarter. Uh, what? <laughs> what? That's crazy. That is absolutely insane. Holy crap. The National Bank of Canada as well. Shout out to Canada, baby. Whew. They own 3.2 million shares of AMC, increased their position by 1,400% in the last quarter. These are crazy numbers. I'm just looking for some standout ones here. Jeez. Absolutely insane. Again, there's not that many filings that have come out. We've not gotten your Vanguards, your Black Rocks, your Citadels, your any Sequoia. None of those have came out. Looks like just the banks. And holy schmoly, they're buying the dip. Especially Canada. Shout out to Canada. Let me know down below in the comment section if you are listening to this video in Canada. Your banks are buying the dip in AMC. Like, more than buying the dip. Bank of Montreal... 14 and a half million dollars worth of calls increase this position by 4,000%. Their share position increased that by 7,000%. That's insane. Okay. Maybe they're the ones that are making AMC jump dramatically and outperform the markets. AMC, as far as the 13 up filings that have come out, well, you're seeing an increase to ownership. It's pretty slight, but you're now sitting at almost 140 million shares. So this is good news. You've seen a decline of AMC ownership for a while now, and you're now you're seeing that upticking. Maybe that's because the business itself is doing much better now than it was before. So pretty interesting. Now, I'm just curious... If you guys would trade on Twitter, because Twitter is planning to launch its own stock trading platform. Let me know down below in the comment section if you would trade on Twitter. Now, let's get into some of the option activity here on the day today. Get into some of the short interest numbers, cost to borrow, fees, and all of that. So, AMC stock still on the threshold securities list. Not a big shocker there. You've been on there for weeks. <coughs> Looks like nobody really cares. FINRA, New York Stock Exchange, SEC, nobody gives a shit, apparently. You're looking at live short interest of free float. 
156 million shares that are currently sold short. Cost bar average, 368%. Cost bar max, 399%. And cost bar minimum sitting at about 200%. So your cost bar fees are, uh, what do I say, sky high. Interactive broker, short availability, zero. Last we knew, you had a cost bar fee of about 190%. And the last time we had shares out available was 100 thousand shares so you are getting some very call it healthy numbers over here and that is um you know in, in, encouraging for all of you guys now keep in mind cost of borrow fees being a hundred three hundred four hundred percent doesn't matter they've been high for a very long time the amount of time that cost of borrow fees stay this high is more important than just if the cost of borrow fees hit a thousand percent and come down or or what have you that it's more important how long the fees stay high now if we look at the option data for the day today 22 orders totaling 12.01 million dollars with a positive order value of three percent so not very bullish option activity but it doesn't even seem to matter today when the stock is up two percent at a time where bond yields are absolutely breaking out your 10-year treasury is almost breaking out to a new high of this cycle at 4.19%. This is up 11 basis points on the day today. This means people are selling out of bonds. They're selling the bonds. They don't want to own them. Driving yields up, driving borrowing costs up, driving the risk of a hard landing up, driving the risk of bankruptcies higher. But AMC is up 2% on the day today at a day where you've basically gotten half of a rate hike. Doesn't make sense. But hey, we'll take it. It's very bullish. So uh, these are some of the major things that are happening on the day today. Right at the time you guys are watching this video, Apple earnings will be coming out as well as Amazon. These two guys are vitally important. Apple's micro market cap is more than the entire Russell index. So... Obviously, if, if they have good or bad earnings, that's going to be massively important. As well as that, you have Coinbase, 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 Block, Airbnb, DraftKings, Cloudflare, Fortinet, Petrobras, and Wish that also report earnings. If you guys want to come trade with us, trade some of these earnings uh, with us live in real time, link down below in the description of this video. I also do have a trade on Fubo to play their earnings, um, and that one's been very interesting shall i say the least over the past a uh, couple of really weeks or so so there is uh that information as far as that you're gonna have economic data coming out tomorrow morning that will also be very important and just mixing apple and amazon earnings with this economic data uh you're gonna expect a lot of volatility in the markets the unemployment rate coming out tomorrow is expected to be 3.6 percent the non-farm payrolls expected to be about 200 thousand so you really want to see this data come in line with expectations you don't want anything to shock or to the to an upside move or to a downside move uh just because inflation has been falling so consistently you want to see the markets the labor market stay okay you don't want to see all hell break loose and uh you know that hard landing start to look more likely investors love the idea of a recession and a hard landing in 2022 every time we got bad economic data markets rallied well that's not the case this time around okay uh so keep that in mind now amc's dark pool trading on the day let's go ahead and take a look well it is almost 61 percent of today's total volume and it's not surprising that we have I mean, on green days, you're seeing this this number being so much higher. Even as we reported yesterday, it was about 55% uh, dark pool trading. And some of your dark pools can allow for some of your naked shorts, which is what we're seeing kind of happening with AMC right now. Uh, e even Adam Aaron took to Twitter to call this out again. But the failure to deliver numbers are at record highs for AMC. 
Today is August 3rd. So that means you had about 12 million FTDs that did need to be closed out of today. Tomorrow, you're going to have about 13 million FTDs. And then the day after that, you're going to have 12.5 million FTDs to start off the new trading week next week. And you actually don't have any FTDs that come due on uh, August 8th, which I think is pretty interesting but then by the ninth you ramp back up to 14.6 million so there's obviously a lot of naked shorting going on there's a lot of uh fuckery going on let's just call it that and this is ultimately bad news for the shorts because it does mean in the end these shares need to be located they will need to be bought back in the meantime it does have a dilutive effect on amc and that's kind of what you have seen playing playing out over the last couple of weeks maybe even the last couple of months here and that could be a reason again why amc has fallen over the last couple of weeks maybe it was all of this uh dilutive nature of the phantom shares that after all has been pushing down amc so uh there is that let's go ahead and take a look at the stock o tracker data as well i talk about this in videos quite often but if you see um essentially your lower option expiration chains low right like what we're gonna see for august 25th uh september 1st september 8th um, as well as even next week, if you get news on those weeks, the news can have much greater of an effect if people start to flood into options, which they do. When good news comes in for AMC, people flood into the calls. When bad news comes out, people flood into the puts, even though buying puts on AMC makes zero sense. Zero sense. It, there's stocks at $4 and some change. You're not going to make that much on the puts, uh, especially because AMC is not going to fall like that. Uh, but I'm not a financial advisor. Anything can happen. Sometimes I just speak, you know, what I personally think. So every time you click on this video, just make sure you guys know this is my opinions. And if I say something that sounds like financial advice, it's not. And don't ever listen to me because you will lose all of your money if you blindly follow anyone over the course of years or, or months or whatever your timeline is. Now, uh, tomorrow's um, option expiration, 23,000 calls in the money, 230,000 calls out the money. In the money puts at about 93,000, out the money puts at 278,000. Next week after that, you got about 7,000 calls in the money and about 79,000 calls that are out the money. In the money puts at 32,500. Um, and then you do have about 190,000 puts that are out the money. If you take a look at some of the technicals here on uh, AMC stock here on the day, again, you're you're doing very well. You're up 1.88%. This is super positive. This could be a pre-earnings effect as well. But like I said previously, you, you had a gap up. You filled the gap, bounced at 450, and now you're on this upward move. Odds are you can really... Get that big upside move if you start to break out from this level that we're at right now. Anything above $5 per share starts to put back into question any of this gap up level that we've seen. You know, the $6 plus levels uh, becomes a lot more obtainable once you're above five dollars per share guys so let me know what you think about all of this information down below in the comment section what do you guys think about the economic data coming out tomorrow and if you guys do want to come trade with me live in real time talk about all of this today and every single day link down below in the description of this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel all of that good stuff but most importantly enjoy the rest of your day and i will see you in the next one